This is Alan Jay. I'm going to be solving the New York Times diagramless crossword for Sunday, October 18th. Uh, we did this before in July, but at that time, the diagramless uh, that was published on that date did not come with a PUS file. So when I uh, was working in Diag Diagnil, which is the uh, program you're seeing here on the screen, I didn't have the clues available to me within the program. But as you see, I've opened up the PUS file in Diagnil, and I'm going to be working from this clue list. So let's get started this time. <clears throat> and um, let's start about five squares in and see. That's just to give us some working room to the left in case we go down further and and it's uh, we need to go further to the left. Uh, by the way, the mouse cursor you see moving around here isn't exactly synced up on this recorder. So if I point at the clue list, I'm pointing directly at the number one here on the screen, but that may not show up accurately in the finished recording. So I'll try to be a little general about where I'm pointing with my mouse pointer. Uh, how long is this um, one across entry? All we do is we look at the number one, the second clue on the list and find that it is number 10. That tells us that entry number one is nine letters long because it has to have, it encompasses the first nine uh, down entries before we get to across number 10. So we always tell the, the uh, one across entry length, it's one less than the clue number of the second clue. So nine is a bit much to chew on there for a bit of pool table artistry. So I'm going to work on the downs <clears throat> that go with one across. One down says private eye and dated slang. That's a tech. Uh, Issa of Insecure, I did not know this name, so I'm going to go to the third clue, and I have to, uh, if you see, it looks like I'm pointing at clue number two. If I were to type this in, it would go in the wrong place on the clue list, so I have to make sure that I'm associated with clue number three, where I am on the grid. I can type the number three, and so you see the th clue number three there now. So, um, or you can see it highlighted. I could simply click clue number three and then wherever I am on the grid, that's what I'll be uh, typing into, which that's the clue I'm working with. All right, number three says blank never work. Well, that'll be it'll never work, I-T-L-L, -L, enter. Four, it might be left in the dust. Didn't know that one either. So let's go here, click on five. Figure skater Nancy is Kerrigan, who I remember from the Olympics some years ago. Place to buy tobacco shop. That's not quite plain to me. Let's go to seven. Overactors are hams. I've been called that before myself. Digit starting in a teen. That's not teen person. That's a teen number. Numbers 13 to 19. Start with the digit one. And so Woodland and Songbird, that could be a lot of things. So we'll just leave that at the moment and go down to the 10 across. Now I know that 10 across has to start at least one square to the left of the down entries from one down. Uh, it might be two in this case because the next clue is 14. So we know that 12 encompasses 12 and 13 down. Uh, 10, excuse me, 10 is followed by 12. So 10 encompasses 10 and 11 down. So that could be 10 at the beginning and 11 at the end, or they could be 10 and 11 right here together. Don't know who that is yet, and I didn't quite figure that out at this point. I'm going down to 12. I'm seeing enough of this. Again, it has to go to the left, which means it has to either start here or here or here, depending on where the uh, the two new down clues that go with 12 uh, will appear. So uh, I can see that this is going to be accelerometer. It happens to be a word that came out of the recesses of my memory somewhere. 
I'm going to go ahead and type that in. I have to put an E here so I back up far enough to go A C C E L E R O M E T E R. That's, uh, I got the wrong clue number. So let's uh, start again here. Put this, and we're going to go 12, and A-C-C-E-L-E-R-O-M-E-T-E-R, -E -E and that works in OK. At this point, I see that this is beginning to have the look and feel of a left-right symmetry puzzle. I didn't look at my preliminary note to see what kind of symmetry it is, how big it is. But Diagnil opened it at a 17 by 17. You see the white area here um, that goes to here, down to here, over to here. This white area is 17 by 17. And so um, it knows it's 17 by 17. It looks left-right symmetry. I didn't look at my starting square, but it looks like I may have lucked out in that regard. Because if I fill in what's beginning to look like a trick shot, then that is centered on the top um, row, which is how left-right symmetry works. Whatever's on the row has to be centered left and right. This one word is all there is, and it seems to be centered. So we know that one down is going to be the same as nine, same length as nine down. Same thing with two and eight. Same thing with three and seven, which we already got. So that seems to be right so far. Uh, I had my uh, one here already. Didn't get that entered somehow. Now I'm beginning to see that this line is Beatlemania, which I remember from the 60s myself. Um, now, I know this is three because it matches eight down, which is three letters. So this is Ray. It's an Issa Ray. I'm guessing it's Issa Ray. And uh, so now we're on the way with left-right symmetry. This is BCC. This is Aer Lingus. So um, that's beginning to, to form up there. And now we're beginning to see sort of the, the uh, ways of using the, the grid. I'm just going to jump ahead and start entering this in now. And just solve the rest of the way in sort of speed mode. This is Peacock Network as NVC. Um, Melodic songbirds are larks. Uh, sleep stage. I uh, didn't finish this songbird here. Woodland songbird is a tit, which is a perfectly good word. Nothing dirty about that. All right. REM is uh, REM sleep. Now we got a couple of long entries here. I know from having solved this earlier what these words are. They're a little bit surprising. I know by REM sleep that this is not a brand of bug spray. This is not RAID. My second fallback was repellent. That's what that was. And so this is going to be same length as 13. That's going to be a long word. Turned out it was absurdist. <clears throat> so I'm just going fast mode here. Wilmot batteries are AAs. 7 up, 7 equals 7 to 7 is 7 up or tie. Um, give a bad review as to pan. I've had that before. Let's get some down going here. 14 down Fatale. That's Natasha Fatale. I'm old enough to remember Boris and Natasha. With moose and squirrel. Fit for a king, macabre. This is fit for Stephen King. That's why it's macabre. Um, again, that's because that's what I figured out 
working the puzzle through the acrosses and downs. Now you notice here, I'm between a couple of black squares, nothing goes in there because it's only two white squares. That's going to be, these are going to be black squares. They're going to be filled in later. So you can't have a two letter word in the puzzle. That's one of the rules. So I'm having something to do with cleats here. Let's fill in cleat mark. That's That's what gets left in the dust. And you can buy tobacco at a smoke, if I can spell, smoke shop. So that's how those go. And at this point, I've got um, tennis champ Djokovic. Now, I, if you know tennis, you know Novak Djokovic, I actually had to fill that in from across, but I remember it from before. So BTU is an already filled in. MGs is already filled in. Classic English Roadsters. Um, Earth Friendly is Eco. That's, I've got the downs are helping me out here. I've already got these little three letter entries. Canterbury Can, it's either a Lou or a Lav, it's a Lav. This is, I've got to finish this to the right, so I have to type it through so that I can get the A onto it. <clears throat> USDA was, that was the uh, um, Food Safety Organization. We're going down, we have Field of an Observatory is Astronomy, but it's abbreviated, ASTR, Astronomy. Now we get to here, uh, unless I'm mistaken, it's 30 across. There exists a 30 down as well, so it has to start to the left of the existing down entries. So I have to start here, and turns out it's or not, unless I'm mistaken, or not. 30 down, preach, for example, is or eight. Health club amenity turned out to be a towel. All right, this is Idris Elba. This is the stork, which I have to type as far as the O. It picked up the RK for me when I hit enter. It was rocked in 1982, clash hit. The Casbah. I want to put an H in there. There's no H in it. 35 is actor Omar Epps. And this turned out to be postmark. And the down entries that go with postmark. Uh, Marquis de Sade. Really? It's back. This again. And uh, I skipped this guy here, Amir. All right, that was the Qatari monarch. We're down to 39. Inhaler target is asthma. Female surfers wahine. Show no respect to. Treat like dirt. I have to go to the K and it'll pick up the rest of it when I enter. And this is, let's do the downs here. Sing along syllables, laws. This is an imp. Mary Kay cosmetic. That fills in my cream ales here for light brews or cream ales. Now I'm down here to greeting in Rio. There's 46 and 47 in this. And it, so it's two to the left. Hola. It can't go to the right because it's already up against the black square. So I had to be two to the left in that case. And now we've got no longer in use. This turned out to be old, which I thought was a little misdirected, a little off base, but uh, legit. Security interest, lean. Now we've got a mole, for example, is a spy. It looks like it's completed, but I had to go in there and, and pick an enter over it so that it would go on to the um, clue list here. Now I go to Computer Pioneer Loveless. 
If you know about computers and computer history, you know about Ada Lovelace. And you know about the Ada computer language, perhaps. Place to get cold cuts, Delhi. If you didn't know Ada, you probably knew Delhi and Atlanta. So Ada wasn't hard to get. All right, now we've got 52 across. It does not have a 52 down, so it cannot start to the left. It starts exactly there. Uh, struggles with sublets is lisps. And we'll go down from here. Yeah, this is Poopa, um, military plane. I had to figure this out, but turns out it was S T O L. S T O L. I uh, figured it out from the crosses, but I'm reading ahead. Uh, it's going to be debutante ball, Napoleon the Third, and Halloween. So I'm just reading the down letters before I get there. Uh, Roger, take his word for it. It's Roger's thesaurus. That's how that comes. So let's do 55 down. Is painter Magritte, Rene Magritte. Annual theater award is an OB. And now I, I might as well do debutante ball. I have to, no, I have to, would, if I do it that way, I'll have to type from the beginning. So let's get rid of all that and do the downs there. This is easier to do. Whole kit and caboodle is all. Um, modern prefix is neo. And finally, drag along is toe. This is going to finish debutante ball, Napoleon the third, and Halloween. As soon as I hit enter, it's going to say, you're done. Because it compares all my entries that I've entered into this word list against the solution that's in the across like file, the puzz file. And it knows it's the correct solution, so it finishes it up for me. And we see a nice Halloween themed picture in the grid. That's a skull staring out at us. It filled in. Remember, that's where we looked at those two white squares that were in here. Those are blacked in now. And all the borders and everything that's black squares has been finished. So Diagnell has finished dressing up the, the grid for me. And then that's the complete solution. So that's the across slide, that's the diagramless puzzle for October 18th, 2020, using Diagnell with a, um, a cross light puzz file that gives us the clues to work from. I hope you enjoyed this and have gotten something out of it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.